hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so uh, before starting our tutorial i would like you to download my game from play store so this is the same game that we are currently building and we will uh, create the exact same thing that you can download from play store here so uh, this is the uh, final version of what we are going to create in this game so uh, please take some minutes to uh, download this game and let me know in the comments whether you liked it or not so uh, uh, in the previous video uh, uh, we created I think uh, we crea uh, created a game over screen like this so uh, in this video we are going to uh, do some more improvements but first let me play this and so as you have you can see that I have uh, given my character a glasses and two eyes so I'm uh, going to show you in a minute how to do that in case if you don't know so now uh, this resume button is not working so we have to fix that but uh, uh, if you can uh, we have another problem in this game so as you can see that we have different tiles so uh, to go from this tile to this tile we know that we have to do a small jump because the distance is very short similarly uh, from this tile to this tile but from this tile to this tile we have to do a big jump so we cannot go from by small jump from this tile to this tile but we can go from this tile to this using a big jump so but we don't want that we want we want to restrict the user to do a small jump here because he can uh, go from this tile to there uh, using a small or big jump so as you can see that by using only big jumps we can play the game so uh, we want to restrict the user to do a small jump when the tile is small so uh, to do that we need to uh, actually detect whether the tile uh, player is jumping is small tile or big tile and we also have to keep track of the player jump whether he is doing small jump or big jump so uh, to do that first thing we need to do is we need to uh, tag our tiles so uh, we want the small tiles to be tagged with small tile and uh, the big tiles with tag big tile so I am going to go to my uh, generator script and I am going to uh, define two string tags so this one will be small tag and this will be small tile and similarly a string big tile now so uh, this is the function in which we are generating tile so this function will generate a small tile and this will generate a big tile so uh, in the small tile we can 
store the uh, tile in a temporary game object call it temp and we can then assign it a tag so we will say tag equals small tag same thing we will do with the generate big tile big tile so now if i save that and go back So you can see that the tags are actually not changing we still have a tag called tile so why is that so i think we have to change the tag on our prefab so let me go back there <coughs> and before instantiating we will change our prefab tag so type prefab dot tag will be big tile same thing we will do with the small tag so now So we still have our tile. So uh, actually, we have to define the tags. So in here, you can see that we don't have a small tile or big tile. So in order to assign the tags, we have to store them in our tag. So select any of the game object and hit add tag click on plus and we will say small tile make sure the spellings are correct so copy that and save it same with the big tile save that now if we go back so now you can see that we have a tag small tile so if i select this we will have a tag of big tile so uh, now we need to keep track of user jump so if user is if user is doing a small jump so we need a variable to store that so uh, let's say we have a variable last jump and if user do a small jump we will save the uh, save small jump in our last jump so after colliding with this tile in the on trigger on colli collision enter 2d function we will check if the previous jump is small 
and the next tile is also a small tile then it means that user has and uh, user has done correct jump if not it means that we need to do a game over we need to show a game over screen so let me show you what i mean so in here we are going to create a private character variable called last jump so uh, in the start last jump will be n so now in the on collision 2d function we will check if so but first we need to go to the jump function and if user is doing small jump we will set last jump equals s so s means small jump and if user is doing a long jump we will simply say big jump b in here we will check if last jump equals small so if user has done a small jump and after jump the tile it hit so is also small so we will also say and this dot transform or we can say call dot game object dot tag equals small tile so it means that user has done a correct jump else if so copy this whole code if user has done a big jump and the tile it landed on is also a big tile then it means there is no problem user has done a correct jump else if last jump is not equal to n so uh, remember the first time it will be n so the first time it will hit the tile this function will going to run and both of these condition will be false so the first time this condition will be true so we need to do that and do nothing in the else so if all of these conditions are false then we are going to say print wrong jump game over now uh, we also need to change this line because we have changed the tag so we will say if game over dot tag dot contains so uh, we know that the tile keyword is in both of the
tags in small and big so just put dot contains in here now you can uh, read the documentation of contains function so uh, it will actually return true if the value that we have added here tile is available in our tag so this will return true now save that So let me play this. So now this is already saying that we have done a wrong jump. So let me go back. So we need to say equals. So because uh, the last jump is equal to n, so we need to make this condition true so that this condition will not execute. Clear the console and let me. So now I am going to do a two three big jumps. So first big jump after first big jump player will here, then here, and then we will do a big jump, and it is going to uh, display the message that this is a wrong jump. So let me so as you can see that we have done a wrong jump so in that we can show our game over screen so let me game over screen dot set active to true As you can see that we have done a big jump instead of small so we did a wrong jump that's why our game over screen is popping up so uh, that's it for this video I will see you in the next video and uh, we will do some uh, more improvements so i think i have told you about the change that i made so let me show you so make sure this fall multiplier is 4.5 so this will make your player fall faster so in the next video we will uh, do some work on user interface and uh, we'll do work on changing the tile color so uh, right now Right now, if we jump from this tile to this tile, the uh, tile color remains white. So we need to change the uh, tile color when our player jumps on it. So I will, uh, we will do this in the next video. So uh, and also please make sure that you download this game and let me show what what other improvements or what other functionalities we can add in our game.